Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.1 and I came across something very interesting. This is a universal XML game art scraper that you run on your Windows machine. It'll scrape everything automatically for us on our Windows machine to our Raspberry Pi. Now you need to be connected online with your Raspberry Pi and you need to be on the same network as the PC we're going to run the universal scraper from. We can get game art and game information and it's very quick. So I'm going to go through here and just show you. I don't have any game art or anything. This is a fresh install and I've installed a few games here. Now first thing I recommend doing is going to the RetroPie logo, open it up, scroll down till we see show IP. You'll click on this. In the middle there'll be a gray box and at the top right hand corner of the gray box you'll see your IP address. It'll be something like 192-168-10-146. Go ahead and take a picture of it or write it down. You might need it, you might not. So what we're going to be doing is moving over to a Windows PC right now. My Windows PC and my Raspberry Pi are both connected to the same exact network. You can do this over Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or mix it up. One on Wi-Fi, one on Ethernet as long as they're on the same network. Let's go to the PC now. Okay, so I'm back at the PC and uh, I'll leave a wiki page link for you guys. Uh, everything you need to know is pretty much here. This works with Recallbox version three, Recallbox version four, and RetroPie. We'll go to releases over here at GitHub and this is the Universal XML Scraper. It's by Universal ROM Tools. If I knew the exact devs, I would definitely name them because these guys are awesome. This works great. We have 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. I'm just going to download the 64-bit. And I'm just going to create a folder on my desktop here because when we open this up, it's going to create other files. If we just throw this exe here, it's going to create files, which I already have because I did it once and I need to go through and delete them. But I'm just going to name this XML. And I'll drag that exe right in there. So we'll open this folder up, and before we get started, let's make sure we can connect to our Raspberry Pi. Go up to any quick access bar in any Explorer window, and type in backslash, backslash, all capital, RetroPie. Press Enter. So I am connected now. If you cannot connect with that, you'll need to put in your IP address. So it'll be backslash, backslash, 192-168-10 dash whatever your IP is. And I'm connected now with my IP. So that's good. We're able to connect from our PC. Let's launch Universal XML Scraper. And I'll show you, it's gonna populate over here. So it created a bunch of files. You don't want these all on your desktop like I have. Select your language. From here, we have several options. This is all pre-configured, so if you're running Recallbox version three, go ahead and choose that. I am on RetroPie, so I'm gonna try RetroPie Mix. This will give us different images to choose from. Backslash, backslash, RetroPie, backslash ROMs. That's our ROM location. If this does not connect for you, if you were not able to connect with the backslash backslash retro pie out here, you need to put your IP right there. Click next. Next. Here we can choose what images we want to download. So we have arcade, which is really cool. Arcade zoomed. Full back. Give us a background and the box art. Standard 3 IMG and standard 4 IMG. Now when you scrape with this, some systems will not have the box art cartridge and stuff like that. Some will only have the box art and a screenshot. Some will only have the cartridge and a screenshot. It still looks great though. I'm just gonna choose standard 4 IMG. Now this is where it gets good. We can scrape all of our systems right now. 
but I only have a few systems on here and I kind of want different images for each system. Well, for a couple of them. So what I'm going to do is go to configuration and I'm going to change my mix images to the arcade because I want to scrape FBA with this arcade here. I'm going to go to scrape, select my system, FBA, and I'm going to scrape. If you just want to scrape all of your systems, it's very easy. Scrape all your systems. Scrape. Do you want to kill emulation station? Yes, you do. Give it a little time. It's going to download our images and put them on our Raspberry Pi's SD card. So the easiest way to do this is to scrape all systems at once. The problem is if I scrape all my systems with let's say the standard for IMG and I try to come back to the FBA folder to scrape it for those nice looking arcade cabs, it still keeps that for IMG. It's because it creates an XML file game list. The only way around this is to scrape each system individually or SSH into your Raspberry Pi delete that game list and then rescrape. It's complicated. So if you're just starting out, I definitely suggest just scrape all your systems with the four IMG or whatever format you want. So now I'm going to go to scrape and I'm going to select another system here. But first I want to go to change my image. So I want to scrape the rest of them with the standard four IMG. Scrape. I have Game Boy Color. And Emulation Station was already killed, so. And all these games were just randomly chosen out of my folder and dragged over. There's no specific order. 18 seconds, it scraped five games. Next, let's go ahead and scrape my NES folder. So I've tried this once before. I'm not a professional at this. If you got any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments below. It took two minutes and 37 seconds to scrape 46 ROMs. I just scraped all the first time and it was only two minutes to do that. So it's pretty quick. 48 seconds for nine. So I'm going to scrape SNES now and I'm almost done here. 34 seconds for eight games in my SNES folder. It's time to go back to the Raspberry Pi. Because we killed Emulation Station, you'll either need a keyboard or just unplug your Pi. I'll show you why in a second. You can just type in sudo reboot when we go back over there. So we're back at the Pi. Since we killed Emulation Station, it might look like this for you. You can type in sudo reboot or you can unplug. And the moment of truth. Let's check out Super Nintendo. Perfect. And it looks so good. We have the game art in the background, the box art, and the cartridge. Plus, we have some information about the game at the bottom. And here's one that I was not able to get the box art and the cartridge for. I'm not sure why. Here's one I wasn't able to get the background art, but I'll never play this game, so I'm not worried about that. Most of them will contain the box art, the background, and the cartridge. So before we look at that FBA, let's go through here. And here's your Game Boy Color. So we're going to be moving to FBA. Moment of truth, I hope I got my arcade cabs awesome and they look really good if I was able to flip them now I could do this in Photoshop the problem is when I flip them it's gonna be too much of a hassle I have to recenter the image over to the side because I'd like to have the cutoff cabinet over on the right side there it would just look so much better but for now I'm using all CPS 2 games and I love the cabinets so there's Alien vs. Predator. No marquee, no screenshot. That's disappointing. Here's another one. Battle Circuit. We have a screenshot, but no marquee. 
So it's not perfect right now by any means, but it does the job pretty good. And like I said, I did scrape all my ROMs at one time and I used a four IMG image. Two minutes, 37 seconds. Can't beat that, 46 ROMs. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. All the links are down below. One thing I didn't mention was the Universal XML Scraper app does have a help button up at the top. So when you launch that, look there. There's some links to the wiki page, some more forum topic pages and stuff like that. If you can't find help there, leave a comment down below and I'll try my hardest to help you out. Like always, thanks for watching.